Hello and welcome to a brand new Godot tutorial. In today's tutorial, it's going to be a series, a three day series that we're going to be going over how to make a shooting system here. And Godot are kind of basically a mini game because we got a player, we got a player, well, oh, well, we got a player, right? We got our weapon, which is the, the, um, the little red rectangle. We can shoot it. We have a little enemy right here that if we shoot, well, it's going to take two damage. It does have 10 damage. Once it takes 10 damage or its damage is equal to zero, then it will die and uh, will not be here anymore. So if you do want to learn how to create this here in Godot, then make sure you guys do follow this tutorial. And yeah, so basically in part one, we're going to be going over player movement and making the little green ground. That's it. Part two is where we're going to be going over the weapon. So this little red weapon where we can shoot it and everything is all going to be in part two. Now to make the enemy that is going to be in part three. I'm going to be filming all these tonight so they'll all be ready to go so I can upload right here so i can upload one today which is going to be the 29th because it is 12 a.m so i'm going to upload one today one tomorrow and one on tuesday so if you are watching this on the first then all three of them will already be out good news if you're not well there you will be out very very soon so that is also good news so we're going to just get right into this video i'm going to open up a brand new project so we can get started with this video so yeah let's do it as soon as we open up a new project what we are going to want to do is make a 2d scene i'm going to name this scene world because this is going to be our basic normal world i'm going to first make the ground so we want to go at and add a static body static body just like that static body 2d in the static body 2d of course we're going to want a collision shape and we are also going to want a sprite so boom for the sprite i'm just going to go with everything the icon the basic basic icon just like so just like that i'm going to make this a green type of color just like that um the collision shape we're just going to make this a rectangle and hopefully cover this entire thing it doesn't really have to be too good it can just honestly that works that works you know it doesn't look good at all but you can't see the blue thing when we start the game so that will work we'll just go with that now we're going to want to make a player first save this so control s we'll save it save it as the world.tscn and you're good to go. We're gonna go up here, we're gonna click this little plus button to add a new scene. And in this scene, we are going to want to add a kinematic body 2D. I'm gonna rename this to be player because this is going to be our player. We are going to want a sprite. You may be using an animated sprite if you are gonna have animations. Um, we are also gonna need a collision shape 2D and that's it for player movement or not it for player movement but i'm just going to do something like that and then put it back into the center i guess so we can have like a rectangle you know what we'll make it we'll make a little no we'll, we'll leave it like that just like that put it back in the center collision shape this needs to be more exact than the ground we'll just go with something like this that'll work that will work all right so i'm going to make my character um we'll go with like a we'll go with like a yellow a brownish yellow now we're going to want to click on our player or we're going to want to click on our kinematic body 2d we're going to want to add a script i'm going to name it the player.gd and create all this we can get rid of now for every type of player movement we're gonna need some variables so I'm gonna make some constants our first constant is going to be the speed 
I'll do 400. Um, you can do whatever you want for these variables that will just change the way that your character actually moves. Whoops, constant jump is going to be equal to 350 or negative 350. Remember, your jump has to be a negative number. So don't put positive or else you'll go underground. So put a negative. All right, now we're going to want gravity. Obviously, unless you're doing something that doesn't have gravity, but go for it. Constant up. This is for our y-axis on a vector two. So zero, whoops, zero, negative one. All right, now a normal variable, motion. This is everything in, go, or in the player movement, vector two, just like so. Now, function, we're gonna want to make a physics process function. This is basically going to replay the function over and over and over and over again as long as the program is running. So first we want our gravity. So that's gravity, motion dot y plus equal gravity, or you can do plus equal 20 or whatever your gravity number is, but it's just easier to read this way. So I'm going to do that. All right. Now we're going to want input. I'm going to do if input, whoops, dot is underscore action pressed, not just pressed or none of that, just pressed. And whatever your key is, mine's going to be UI right. This can be our way to go right. Now I'm going to do motion dot x so we can move on the x axis and we want motion dot x to be equal to our speed so we can move right at 400 speed. Now we're going to want to make an else if and input dot is action pressed again but this is going to be for the UI left. Boom. Now, motion.x is going to want to be the opposite way, which is negative speed. And there we go. All right. So, else, and if we are not going right or we're not going left, then we are going to want to be stopped. So, motion.x is equal to zero, and that's going to let us stop. Now, if we add a jump, or if we were to play, whoops, save, yeah, we'll save that. First, we want to go down, we want to add a motion equals move and slide. This is just going to allow us to move, and we want motion and the up variable. That's just going to allow us to move in the game. So now, if we were to go and play in our world, we haven't actually added our player to our world yet, but if we were, I'm going to rename this as ground. That's just the little grass piece. But if we were to add our player to our world, then we're going to have a player in the world. And if we were to play, well, we have movement, but we don't have jumping. So to add jumping, we're going to want to go back into our player script. We're going to want to go right back up here. Before the motion equals move and slide, we're going to want to go above that and we're going to want to do if input dot is action pressed, same as up top. And whatever your jump button is, mine's going to be UI up. But instead of it being the X axis, we're going to want the Y axis. But we also want to make sure it's on the ground because we don't want to have to jump if we're in the air. That's going to stop us from double jumping. So to check if it is on the floor, we're going to want to make an if statement and just say is on floor. This is a built in go dot function. So if you do that, it will check if it's on the floor. And if it is on the floor, then we want motion motion dot y to equal our jump variable, which is going to allow us to jump. And if that looks good. This is player movement here in Goda. Obviously, we can tweak some of this, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to think our jump is going to need to be higher. Our speed can be a little higher. Um, the collision shapes are kind of messed up. 
and that's why right there if we were to do something like this and actually let it come down in the ground it's going to look like we're actually walking on the ground more like that and then our jump is still very very slow so what i'm going to do is increase this to 450 and uh, yeah you know it's better than it was before it looks a lot better than it was before as well so that works that works i'm going to leave it at that thank you guys so much for watching part one part one is going to be kind of a short beginning but it wasn't really short this is player movement so pretty simple next episode or next part to the series which is coming out tomorrow which i'm about to record right now is going to be a lot more complex and a lot more complicated so yeah and we are going to be adding to the script no actually no we're not uh, yes we are yes we are we are going to be adding to the script in the next episode so make sure you guys do stay tuned we're also going to be making a new two new scenes we're going to be making a weapon scene and we're also going to be making a bullet scene so hopefully you do get ready for that that is coming out tomorrow but technically i'm going to be recording it right now so i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video stay safe stay awesome and i hope this series is going to help you guys out on building a shooting system this can work for any game top down platform or anything you would like because it is the concept and the concept is there but thank you guys so much for watching this episode or this part and head over to part two where i'm going to be going over the weapon and we're going to be able to shoot the weapon hold the weapon aim the weapon do all that type of stuff and that's coming next episode so make sure you guys do go stay or go watch that because by the time you're watching this it may be already out so see you guys over there thank you guys so much for watching and i cannot wait to see you in the next episode also let me know if you are going to enjoy this series or if you're not gonna enjoy this series but i'll see you guys next time see ya